Israel is sold to the American people as the only ally in the Middle East. That is nothing but deception. When the time comes, the treacherous Israel will stab America in the back. How do I know? Because they've already done it so many times. When they were fighting their 1967 war against Arabs, they attacked and tried to sink an American ship, the USS Liberty, so that they could blame it on Arabs and drag America into their war against their enemies. But they could not sink the ship and got caught red-handed. They said, oops, that was a mistake. 34 Americans died in that attack. And what did American President Lyndon B. Johnson do? He covered it up. All this information is available online now. One of their spies, Jonathan Pollard, stole American diplomatic and nuclear secrets. According to the US military, he was the most damaging spy in the history of the US. It was first time in the US history when a spy was arrested for passing information to a supposed ally. He received a life sentence, but the Israeli lobby is so powerful that he was released and sent to Israel where he received a royal welcome. With friends like that, who needs an enemy, right? Also, do you remember Rachel Corey? Rachel was an American activist who was trying to prevent an Israeli bulldozer from demolishing a Palestinian home. They ran the bulldozer over her and killed her. They could have arrested her and moved her out of harm's way, but they did not bother and bulldozed her alive. And then what was their excuse? Oops. This is how much they regard American life. And the sad thing is that it was an American-made caterpillar bulldozer which they got from America, most likely for free. Israeli lobbies and pressure groups in the US have so much power and influence on the American mainstream media, politicians, and even evangelical pastors that these American institutions, instead of revealing the truth of Israeli atrocities, to the American public, they cover it up. They're more loyal to a foreign government than their own country. That is sad.